And I'm Lavila Craft. And welcome to Victory Videos. Today we're at Northland Skating Rink. On the ice. ice. On, the, On ice. the ice. <laughs> and it's cold out here. Yeah. See my breath? <laughs> <laughs> and I can see you're still standing too, Dave. That's right. After last week's skating adventure. Uh, skiing. 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 We were skiing last week at North, Perfect North. Yes. Oh, that was a real trip. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> yeah. But we're having a good time today. You know, a lot of people think here in Cincinnati after the Cincinnati Bengals stop playing that that's it. We all go into our caves and hibernate for the winter. But we don't. No, we There's don't. There's a lot of exciting things. Uh, Debbie Thomas, one of the figure skaters, was just here uh -huh. in Cincinnati. Yeah, and Rosalind Summers came in with a troop for a while. And there's just all kinds of things that you can do in the wintertime besides sitting in front of the tube, huh? There you go. Yeah. That's right. An exciting place. On today's program, we'll be taking a look at one of the hottest bands in Christian music. The Newsboys. Now this band, which originates from Australia, has just released its second album mm -hmm. on Star Song Records. It's called Boys Will Be Boys. Recently, the Newsboys have been out touring with DC Talk and are currently planning for an extensive tour of this year's Summer Outdoor Festival. Yeah. Over the past two years, we've had the opportunity to get to know the Newsboys down at the Ichthus Music Festival. In Wilmore, Kentucky, the Newsboys lead vocalist John James, John James will be joining us. He'll be joining us. He'll be joining us fairly soon, won't he? Oh yeah! Today, as he talks to us, <laughs> <laughs> he'll be talking with the band. <laughs> yeah, but let's first, let's get started with DC Talk and their newest video, "I Love Rap Music," followed by a Victory Videos classic from Leon Patillo. Leon. Leon Patillo. I like Leon Patillo. <laughs> 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 Two in a row on Victory Videos. We hope we don't fall down. We're going to enjoy this. See ya. Bye. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come on. Rap music. The sound of the time. You sort of talk lyrics to rhythm and rhyme and then deliver. In various ways, you know, some sort of preach and some sort of play. Nevertheless, there's some common ground. You know the deaf hip hop sound. Hype the bass with a tiny snare. The subwoofer makes your neighbor stare. But still, I love rap music. I always have and always wear. Now, rap started as a voice of the street. I sort of politics to a ghetto beat. The rapper started bragging all about the gold and the girlies and the beepers and the big black holes. In 83, the beatbox hit. I'm making funky drum sounds from out your lips. But taking on new form, rappers move from the block. And some mix it with soul and some mix it with rock. You know what? I love rap music. I always have and I always will. Time in my part of the town, you know. I brought my mom cause I knew she was down. She was black grooving, but couldn't understand how they make a music when there ain't no fans. And then she cried, James, everybody stand. She heard a James Brown sample and thought he was there. She got home, shook her head, and said, Kids these years. But then again, we think the Beatles were weird. No 
Seen lyrics are overkill, but I started him seeing way back in the day. And since then, there's been a serious change, you know. I asked Craig to come into my heart, and he gave me a brand new start. And on top of that, he go gave me my dreams of doing hip hop music with a Christian me, you know. Well, I love rap music, I always have and I always will.
drives me up a wall to see drugs hurting young people in our community. So I pressed the subject at a town meeting, and folks responded. Now we've got drug treatment in our town. I'm a drug buster. Our daughter, she was halfway to her grave with drugs. It took a long time, but we convinced her to go into drug treatment right here in town. We want to be drugs. We are drug busters. Drug busters don't let drugs win. A public service of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Our dependence on unreliable sources of oil is catching up with us. But doing little things like driving just five miles per hour slower and carpooling will help us save millions of gallons of gas every day. Because how much we depend on unreliable sources of oil really depends on you. President Bush hopes you'll do your part. Drive smart. Welcome back to Victory Videos. It's been a long time since we had Leon Patillo on the program, LaVilla. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. He had a lot of big songs back in the early 80s. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think it was uh, last year or so that he had uh, his first album out in almost six years. I really like wow. Leon Patillo. So it's great to see Leon Patillo back in Christian music. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So well, how are you holding up? Well, I'm, I'm okay. My feet are a little bit sore. Well, you know, how are you I holding up? if you noticed, when we came in, there yeah. were... All kinds of pictures hanging on the wall about uh, their little lo miniature, or what do you call them, them little hockey youth? league guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good name for them. So they have youth co hockey leagues. If you just tuned in, we're at uh, Northland Skating Rink in Evendale. And, yeah, uh, I th you know, I didn't ever hear of anyone in the area ever being on a hockey team when I was a kid. Did you? No. Nope. I think it's because of the new team in Cincinnati that they've just got a renewed interest in that yeah. sport. Well, I think, like I said, with all the skaters coming into the area, uh, it's you know there's a lot of a lot more interest in that area. Yeah. Well, it's time to take a look at the Newsboys, our featured artist on today's program. This Australian-based band first came to the United States over three years ago, unknown and without a recording contract. Did oh. you know that? Did you know I, that? No, I didn't know that. The Newsboys hit the summer festival circuit with an unbelievable amount of energy, excitement, and stage presence. The Newsboys quickly built a large following. Yeah. It's the summer festival is where the news, new bands get a chance to perform before the public. Most festivals range from two to four days with up to 16 hours of continuous music. Woo. There Woo. are anywhere from 10 that. to 30 different bands performing. Mm. Obviously a new artist, artist could get lost in the crowd, but not so with the Newsboys. Not so. They quickly became one of the most sought after bands on the festival circuit. All of this caught the attention of Star Song Records, which signed the band in 1990. Is that right? Yeah. All right. With all this newfound success, the Newsboys have not changed their goals and purpose as a band. Peter Furlier of the Newsboys states We've got goals and challenges that have nothing to do with sales charts, playing to people's expectations rather than spiritual needs. Right now, we're called to travel the United States and make a difference in the name yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's really that simple. Let's meet them right now, followed by their newest video, Taste and See, the Newsboys on Victory Videos. Yes. Shall we go skate? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We started about, about six years ago. Um, we started in a little, like this fishing village um, where we live, it's called Malulaban. Just playing in like our garage. We had like a, a little garage and we crammed these four guys in, John James and myself, Peter Furler and Sean Taylor and George Perdikas. And we um, all just got into this little jam room. We had like padding and mattresses everywhere so it wouldn't make any noise. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. It was we meant to there. work in theory. Yeah, it was meant to work in theory, <laughs> but it didn't because the police kept coming around and taking away all our, <laughs> our instruments. And uh, so we just started playing around and doing like youth groups and churches and, and uh, different places and, and ended up we had a chance after a couple of years to support a band called Whiteheart um, and uh, so we were, we were playing with Whiteheart and they saw us play and they thought oh, these guys should come over and play in America 
So they gave us a chance to uh, come over and um, play our music over here and we got signed on an American label and since then we've been playing and playing throughout this excellent country. Having a great time. Yeah. as he talks to John James, the Newsboys lead singer at last year's Outdoor Music Festival in Ictus, Wilmore, Kentucky. Hi, I'm Dave Dobbins with you at Ictus, and with me I have John James, the Newsboys. How you doing? Good, thanks, mate. Good. And we were here with you last year, and uh, you've been up to a whole lot of things, so what's been happening? Uh, well, for a start, we're back in good old America to start our new tour. We're here for nine months this year. Uh, we've just come out of the studio in Florida, completing the final tracks for our latest album that's going to be out in about a month's time, and man, we're really excited about what the Lord's really given us for this album. That's great. Now, what's the title of the album? We're not, we're not sure yet, believe it or not. It's an interesting name. Yeah, <laughs> but you can bet uh, it's going to be something really bold <laughs> as ever and up front. Typical Newsboys style. And you were on, uh, tell what record label, get a little plug for your, for your label. We're on Star Song Record Label. Great. So you went back home to Australia, which is where you're from, and uh, how, uh, how's the family doing and what kind of response are they giving you from your success that you had in the last year? They're really great, you know, like I think any band that's doing well, 
It has to have people behind it that care for them and are praying for them. And I think that's been the greatest blessing with our, having family and friends back home that believe in what we do and are really just praying for God to use us. And, and we're stoked. And we mainly went home to write the new material, to get out of them, get out of here before the cold weather came, <laughs> and just to relax and just recharge for this year's tour. For people that have not seen you or heard of the news, boys, tell us a little bit about when you came to, to be uh, in the the bosom of Jesus Christ. What was that like for you? At what age? For me, I, I come to, to know the Lord when I was about 15 and, and like a lot of our songs uh, speak about standing up for Jesus and victory in Jesus because the way I come to the Lord was a young guy, a young Baptist minister, swallowed his pride and, 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 and maybe embarrassment and had the courage to come up to me and, and, and stand up for Jesus Christ and share the gospel with me. And because of that, I could see something in his life that I that I didn't have and, and whatever it was I remember asking man whatever you got I want and that's why we really encourage uh, people to, to have the courage to stand up for Jesus Christ don't, don't be ashamed of the gospel you know it's the, it's 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 everything to us as Christians it's a whole different walk for somebody at age 15 and now you're probably what but <clears throat> over 15 yeah but you know what 11 years later Right? It's still getting better and better every day. It's the best thing I've ever done. be there is a living God, there is a eternal hell, and there's an eternal heaven, and that their need, that the greatest need of theirs is, is uh, understanding. Educated. I never got no education. I was only in the sixth grade. And therefore, I wasn't produced by this world. I can look at that fan wheel turning right down there. That's God. There wouldn't be a back of air here if it wasn't for God. Well, that's my job here, is to show people who God is, and what he is, and where he's at. And that I can do.
Thanks for joining us today on Victory Videos. I'm Lavila Kraft, and you just saw the Newsboys in their first video, Simple Man. And before that, Dave Dobbins with John James of the Newsboy backstage at Ichthus. John James at Ichthus. Ichthus. Uh, John James, he talked like this. Did he? Uh, he sure did. <laughs> He's a good guy, good guys. Well, Avita, we had a great time being around these guys the last couple of years at the music festivals. We've seen them two years now. They really enjoy life and know how to have fun. Yeah, and they have a message to America's youth that you can be a Christian and have fun. Isn't yeah. that amazing? The Newsboys have made it a point to show that Christianity is a fun experience and that life does not stop when you become a Christian. It doesn't? But in reality, it starts. That's right. Yeah, it does. Like a lot, we just ran into a youth group a little earlier from here, from a church. Can you believe it? Actual Christians are out skating today? Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> But it really is a lot of fun. Well, coming up in the second half of Victory Videos, more music from the Newsboys, also our mainstream segment, which features R.E.M. and Sabrina Johnston. All of this coming up next on Victory Videos. Enjoy. Yeah. Everybody have some fun. Bye. <laughs> fun. <laughs> train with the National Guard and Reserve. They learn to be better team players, better decision makers, and better leaders. It's training that makes them better at serving our country, and better when they come back to work for you. Bill's back. Be a hero. Give your employees the freedom to protect ours. Most people don't take lung disease seriously. Yet one out of 10 Americans is stricken by some form of chronic lung disease. Until we do something about lung diseases, no one can breathe easy. Lies beget lies. God, you sound like mother. Well, she happens to be right. Lying is a vicious circle and there's no way out except to tell the truth. It's not so easy this time, Marie. If I tell the truth, I mean, it's just gonna make you mad. One out of every five people who try cocaine get hooked. But that's not your problem. <laughs> or is it? G'day, this is Peter Furler. And John James. And we're from the Newsboys. And you're watching Victory Video. That's pretty good, man. Thanks a lot. Gosh, Darlene, it sure is amazing how much we have in common. I know, Larry. We both love three-car pileups. We both were built in Buffalo. And we both know wearing safety belts help save thousands of lives. Yeah, this is fascinating. Don't mind Vince. He's getting over a bad break. I know. Janet's picking up the pieces, too. They're in here. I wish they understood it's all worth it to get people to buckle up. Hey, lacerated lovebirds. I sense a major crush. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Talk about head over heels. Well, we're back on Victor Videos, and uh, we're still on the ice. Yes, and we're alone, too. That's right. <laughs> Except for this the, huge machine standing behind us. They're, they're re-icing it so we can skate around. Uh-huh. Well, you know, uh, we were t as we were talking off camera before, Laville, about a lot of the, um, the young people today that work on their skating techniques. Oh, yeah. You know, it's incredible that the, the, these kids, they start out at five and six and seven years old, and they have a passion. That's right. For what they do, they just hold on to this dream their entire life. Get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and they'll, they'll practice skating, then go to school, 
come back home from school and they're at it again. That's right. It's such a dream, and they hold on to it. And some of them will never get to the Olympics, but well, some boy, they put may. a lot of effort. And you know, they right. even have lessons here uh, from from ages 10 to 17. Yeah. They're starting to develop their their uh -huh. skating skills. So. Skating is uh, is an important part of a lot of people's lives. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot of fun too, as we found out today, huh? That's right. <laughs> of course, now in next week's program, if if you watch these in sequence next week, we'll be on the ice at a hockey game. Yeah. Oh, he's this keeping us cold. Well, it's time for our mainstream segment. Up first, we have a we have REM with shiny happy people. Yes. <laughs> After that, Sabrina <laughs> Johnson with Peace in the Valley, mm -hmm. two in a row, on Victory Videos.
Wow, and we're back on Victory Videos. Isn't this exciting? Oh, gosh, it is. I wonder how many of these little guys are going to end up on an Olympic team. Well, you know, you never know. These guys work really hard at this. Do you remember back in 1980 when the when the uh, U.S. team beat the Russians in oh, Lake Placid? in Lake Placid, yeah. yeah I remember oh, that. it was something else. Well, this, this is great. We're, we're here kind of freezing today, so we hope you've enjoyed our program. On today's program, we've been talking about the Australian band, the Newsboys, with all the action over here. For the past three years, they've been roaming America's highways and byways, performing concerts everywhere and anywhere. That even has included some high schools. Mm -hmm. And John James, lead singer for the band, states, we go to schools, mostly public ones, under an anti-drug theme that's pretty much been a drag because we can't really say what's on our heart. Mm -hmm. Because it's a public school, we're not allowed to talk about religion, but we follow the assembly up with a concert at a local church later that evening. He goes on to say it has been the most amazing thing to watch two to three hundred kids Amen. make a first-time decision for the Lord. Isn't that great? Yeah, it So is. the newsboys are really out doing something, you know, that's mm -hmm. really what it's all about. Telling people about the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. And without a doubt, they're making a difference in people's lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to more of the news, boys, as we take a behind-the-scenes look into life on the road with the boys from Down Under. Mm -hmm. Followed by their newest video. This is a new one for you. We first time Victory Videos is called One Heart and Kingdom Man. Yes. On Victory Videos. We'll get back to the action. Woohoo! And the right, we'll get back to the action <laughs> right now, Lavila. We're gonna watch the action. Here it goes. Figure skating and everything. Yes. And Cincinnati. Special treat for you people, only because we like you. No, most people we wouldn't do this for, but for you, we're going to show you inside. Not inside. The bus. Yes. Is it clean? Did the maid clean? Enter. The home of the newsboys. This, this is, is uh, Raddy. Raddy, he plays keyboards in the band. Are you going? This is where we sleep. This is our beds. As you can see, it's very tidy and neat. Yes. Everything's well, in here. That's our favourite. We sniff this all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's it, man. Baking powder. It's great. Sh Sean! Oh, I thought he was dead. I this is Sean, the Terminator peace. bass player. I sleep in peace. Best. Doing what he does best. He actually wants to take one of these on stage with him and play like this. Because, see, we have trouble driving on the roads here, see, because we drive on the other side of the road. And it's kind of a freak out with a big vehicle like this. We've had trouble going down the wrong end of the freeways. It's quite freakish. Yes. <laughs> That's basically um, the tour of this huge bus. We call it the white fridge. The fridge. The fridge. So if you see this bus coming down the road any time in America, don't come near it, man. Because <laughs> it's likely to be on the wrong side of the road. Rocks of pride. 
Wally, it's time to face it. Lifting Jesus up makes me feel love. I have a special task interpreting when we go through Alabama, Louisiana, and those parts unknown. And the Australians have a difficult time understanding yes and you and all that good redneck stuff, see? One gig we were playing on a place called the Gold Coast oh, in Australia. No. You're not going to tell them yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to no, tell no. them. <laughs> Just before we started, there was all these birds in the trees making all Millions this noise. Of like birds. <laughs> what happened was we got on the drums and started playing. Bang. And as soon as we hit the first drum, all these birds took off in the air and flew and they pooed all over us. There, must have, been, the there must have been a million yeah. birds that went to the toilet yeah. all at once. All, like, at once. all of the band. It was like a shower of bird droppings <laughs> just, just covered us all. Bro. My, my, my! It's good to be back here where all the radical Christians seem to hang out. Ooh. The biggest lie that's ever come out of this world, that being a Christian's boring, or being a Christian's for wimps, you cannot have any fun, you gotta walk around like you've been sucking, sucking on lemons all day, and straight away you can't be a teenager and have fun. We're getting across to the young people of America that, that, that they're the ones that are missing out if they don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior on the most energetic, the most fun, the most fulfilling, the most rewarding adventure, and that's following Jesus Christ. Very energetic is the word, energetic is the key.
message from the Consumer Information Center in Pueblo, Colorado. If you'd like to give your house some minor tweaks, fix up eensy beensy leaks, trim your tummy, thighs, and hips, go on safe, exotic trips, bank on stocks and count on bonds, stay away from market cons, then you'll want this free and helpful book listing 200 government pamphlets. Look, for this new edition, just drop a line. Write new catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. At Salvation Army Community Centers throughout the world, many generous people reach out to help, and many others gratefully receive that help. But we've never forgotten that the most important help offered here actually comes from somewhere else. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed our special look at the multi-talented Australian band, the Newsboys, from Down Under. I, uh... <laughs> You're such a clown. I know. We had a good time with them, yeah. though, didn't we? Yeah, there's fun time. here, too. At Northland Ice Rink in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank them for allowing us to be here to do our program and allowing us to freeze today. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, now, I was surprised they kept it so cold in here. Yeah, it's, uh, this is how they wore, so... <laughs> yeah, but it was. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I wonder how old you have to be before your bones get brittle. <laughs> Let's not think about it. Right. <laughs> Hopefully we won't. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the yes, Australian sir. band, yes. I wonder if they're going to make it back to Ithus this summer. I hope so. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. It's a good group, and uh, they've been there the last two years. And another point is that we, it's not too late to plan for this year's Ithus, which will be in the last weekend in April. So if you want to go, Now's the time to plan for it. Mm -hmm. And I know the Victory Videos will be back there for our third year covering the event for you. And, of course, we'll have a special uh, a special from Ichthus later on in this year. On today's program, the Newsboys have given us a simple message. Come to Jesus now and live your life for Him. All of the decisions that we make in life. They really are important decisions yeah, in life. Don't they, they are. Know? They really are. The most important one is what we do about Jesus. That's right. The newsboys have shown us that giving our heart to Jesus is something not to fear, but in reality is a life-changing event that will energize our life and bring us to a new and better understanding of how fun life can be. That's right. Life in Jesus is not dull and boring. It's not a dull and boring experience, as no. many believe. But in fact, it's full of fun and excitement, like what's happening out here on the ring. <laughs> yeah. So, but all seriousness aside... You know, make that decision today for Christ. You can call us, and we'll be more than glad to talk to mm -hmm. you or write to us today about any questions you might have on how to live for Jesus. It's Victory Videos, 6800 Hazel Court, Florence, Kentucky, 41042. That's Victory Videos, 6800 Hazel Court, Florence, Kentucky, 41042. Well, we're heading in for the inside where it's a little warmer. Yeah. This is Dave Dobbins. And LaVilla Craft. Saying, remember, love somebody today with the love of Jesus. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.